What's up, Facebookers, YouTubers? Tony O here, hanging out with the new, unique Q500 4K Typhoon and something else brand new. This new Venom 6000 milliamp 10C battery for the unique Q500. So, the question the stock battery, the uh, Venom battery, do you get additional flight time? Generally, this battery is $99, and this battery is $99. I want to go ahead and give a shout out to Carolina Drones. I got this battery from them. Um, they didn't send it to me for free. Honestly, I didn't even know I was getting it from Carolina Drones, but I did. It got here really, really fast. I ordered it two days later. It's here. I charged it up. One thing that I do want to mention is that it seemed like it was a little more difficult to get my charge adapter to plug into this battery than it is with the stock battery. Um, I spent a couple or a few moments uh, actually making sure I didn't have anything misaligned or anything like that and come to find out it's just a little more difficult to get it plugged in. Um, I haven't tried to plug it into the Q500 but if I experience the same kind of deal I'll let you know on that. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to hover the Q500 here over my backyard, maybe at about 20, 30 feet, uh, until I get the battery warning. I'm going to note the time and the voltage at which I get the warning. I'm going to land the quadcopter, the Q500, and stop the timer um, at an equal voltage on each battery. So for example, at 10.8 volts, uh, when the ST10 tells me I have 10.8 volts left on the battery, I'll bring the Q500 down and stop the timer. And I'll come back and I'll tell you whether I got the same amount of flight time or if I got additional flight time. I'm going to go fly and I'll holler at you in a minute. Okay, the first warning on the stock battery was at 15 minutes and 4 seconds. We're now at 10.6 volts. First warning at 10.6 volts and 14.46. 14 minutes and 46 seconds. And we're back and the results are in. In this test, we took the quadcopter up and we hovered at about 13.5 feet with both batteries. Wind speed was one mile an hour with up to three mile an hour gust during both flights. So very little wind. The stock battery came in at 15 minutes and four seconds at the first warning at 10.6 volts. The Venom battery came in at 14 minutes and 46 seconds again at 10.6 volts. Now with that being said I do want to mention this. I started off the flight with 10.4 volts in the uh, stock battery. That voltage dropped down to 10.3 volts before I lifted off. So I attempted to wait for the Venom battery which started out at 12.5 volts to get down to the 12.3 volts that the stock battery started out as. So the Q500 sit there for approximately 15 minutes. I started the engine three times just to run the battery voltage down a little bit. So maybe this skewed this test. However, I'll try it again in the future, but for right now, I would say these batteries are pretty much equal. Sorry. I am Tony Yeo. 